And one of the absolute best ways you can do that is to shout it from the rooftops, put it in bright lights, and have people look at your name, your logo, your practice fondly and affectionately for the benefits that you're doing not only for your staff, but for your patients and for your community. I'm Brian Gilger, physical therapist, and I am with Meg Academy, and I really hope you can click the like button and subscribe. If I add great value, if I exchange an abundance with you, please do it. Do not do it if you don't feel I'm not giving you anything of value. Um, keep me on my toes. Keep me on my game. Give me feedback. Comment below if you can. But we are in a six-part series on do what you do best and outsource the rest. I know that's kind of a nice little jingle. It's got a great ring to it. But it's really true because what I'm trying to do as a coach, and I've been doing, you know, private practice. I, I've been a therapist for 30 years and I've been coaching owners for the last two decades plus. And what I'm embarking on right now and what I'm trying to encourage you to look at and consider, just give it some thought, is that we've been practicing physical therapy the same way for the last four decades, all the way back to the 70s. We, you know, which is more than four decades, right? And we have to have a paradigm shift. Everything else has been changing around us. And that's what this whole series is about, is to bring your awareness to the idea that you can make a change. You can stop complaining and stop hoping that things will get better and stop wondering about how to do it, reading books, podcasts, YouTube channels, and getting bright ideas, but start actually doing something about it. Getting committed to a group or an organization of PTs helping PTs, get committed to an organization group, you know, the APTA, PPS, I'm a huge supporter, you know, Meg Academy, we have a whole community, um, you know, top 10% of thinkers in, in our profession of outpatient, because we have to change in advance of the needs of change. We have to change because we see the weather changing and we make the change before the weather hits us, right? We take shelter, we make cover. That's what this whole series has been about. And we are on part six right now, and over here on part six, what I'm wanting to touch on a bit is social media marketing, or in other words, digital media marketing. And in the beginning, when I opened my practice and many of you, it was relationship building. It was meeting and greeting physicians, referral sources, you know, lunch and learns, you know, email campaigns, postcards. I've done it all. You know, I've done the zip code thing. I've done all of it. Well, now, man, everything's online. Everything's digital. You need SEO. You need optimization. You need backlinks. I'm a physical therapist. I don't know about you, but I didn't go to school for all that stuff. I'm not a graphics designer. I'm not a SEO optimizing engineer. I, I don't, I mean, I know some of that stuff and I know we got to have the right keywords and say the right things, but it's a formula. I mean, I think my business has boomed statistically. I mean, I know it has, but I think what I was going to say was I think my staff has rejoiced in the success of the boom we've experienced since we outsourced our digital social media marketing to a group, an organization, uh, St. Louis uh, uh, Marketing Department and Peter, and he's become part of our team so much so that we've developed the actual recipe for success for you as a private practice owner. Because my team was building inside, but it was becoming more and more difficult to manage. And it was requiring a high degree of specialization. So I said, well, if I'm gonna get that specialized, just like if I need special top-notch billers, I would outsource that. I need a better accountant who's superior. I'm not gonna bring that in-house. I'm gonna outsource that. I'm gonna outsource my front desk. All the things you've been seeing in the series. So I literally outsourced and then brought myself together with a business associate relationship with St. Louis Marketing Department and work with Peter. And that's been a screaming success. And I've turned so many of my clients onto it. I want you to consider it. I want you to think about why you need to consider this because it's the main stay or the main highway, if you will, of how you're going to go about getting more new raw patients. Let's just say raw patients, okay? Because if you're a high quality practice, here's a statistic for you. If you're a high quality practice, you should be getting greater than 60% of your evals from return business. 60% of your evals should be coming from return business. A patient who's been here before, a friend, family member, coworker, or peer 
of that patient who's been here before. Because if that patient's done so well, they're gonna tell these folks, these folks are gonna come in. So you, now you're getting six out of 10 evals per month because of the good care you're providing to your existing caseload of patients. So that goes without saying. But how do you get that initial patient? How do you get that other 40%? You've gotta go direct to the consumer. I'm not saying ditch building relationships and rapport with referring physicians in your community and charitable groups and so on, because I have this whole marketing series inside Meg Academy that teaches you that you have allied health professionals you have to market to, you have medical referral specialists that you have to market to, you have the raw public you have to market to. And of course, 60% of your evals come from return business, which is not just the patient like I just defined for you. So let's talk that other 40%. If you have the right formula of the, the timing and the frequency and the volume of blogs, the volume of email digital marketing, the volume of article writing, social media platforms, LinkedIn, Facebook, Google, you know them, you know, I don't need to get into all that. A lot of you guys are on TikTok and so on, Twitter, right? But, they, but you need a specialized team that is running a two-month marketing calendar for consistency. What I find is if your digital media marketing is giving more in value to the consumer in small little bites in a consistent way, appropriately balanced between all of the different key elements of things that I just listed you need to do, you're gonna be wildly successful and you're gonna be viewed as the top practice in town. So what is this all about? This is about branding. This is about imagery. We are trying to create your brand when you go with a highly trained, very specialized social, digital, media, marketing organization or group or department like I have. It was a great relationship for me to work with somebody who I didn't feel was billing me, selling me, so that he could build his business. Doing business with me to build a bigger business for him. He was doing business with me and continues to do business with me as a business associate partner to help you so that we can help more people. So that, because I believe one of the leading purposes of why we get out of bed each and every day and live our life is to have a positive influence, a positive impact on somebody else's life. If I can think back to the two main reasons why I went to PT school, one, to provide as much care as possible with each and every engagement, so I was an exchange in abundance with each and every patient with the highest level of expertise, so that I could have that person live in optimum health. Not just get back to their pre-morbid level, but literally live in optimum health. And number two, if I could do it in such an efficient manner that I could help more people in the calendar year than the person on the right and left of me, then I'm changing my society. I'm changing my community. I'm having a bigger impact in my community. And people will notice. Doctors, referral sources, communities, organizations will notice. And we will be the place to be. We will be the place for people to come to. I know this. I know this because I lived it. I won practice of the year in 2011 for those same principles, giving more in value than you ever expect in return. And one of the absolute best ways you can do that is to shout it from the rooftops, put it in bright lights, and have people look at your name, your logo, your practice fondly and affectionately for the benefits that you're doing not only for your staff, but for your patients and for your community. So, I proclaim that this part six is a very critical part for your success moving forward in private practice. You can no longer afford to have on payroll, in my opinion, front desk staff, billing staff, digital media marketing staff, credentialing staff, and you must have a college of education in place for you to be able to be successful at training your people enhancing your people, um, enabling them to be better both personally and professionally. That is the paradigm shift so that we can strip this back down to simply, and, and of course, remote therapeutic monitoring codes and those services as well, because that's another book of business that's going to generate some revenue and increase compliance and engagement with your patients. 
But I proclaim, like I've said in all these series, that this is future th therapy is just going to be DPT, PT, A, and tech, and that's it. It's like a hair salon. That's where we're going. So I hope you like some of the reasoning I've been sharing with you. Um, I would love to engage you in conversation and comments. Click the like button. That really helps me reach out to more people. Give me comments. Tell me what we can do better for you, for your benefit, because we're in the business of seeing your business thrive and survive every challenge that comes its way. So that's it, everyone. Thank you for watching all the way to part six in the six part series. I hope you are really interested in reaching uh, to us, reaching out to us, having a conversation with me free, no pressure. Let's do a practice assessment call. Go to my website, check it out, schedule it, and let's see what we can do together.